Could the age of the Cheops Pyramid be 237,000 years old? Many of you probably read the version that the sizes and proportions of the Cheops Pyramid, certain parameters of the Earth, and the secret knowledge of ancient civilizations are encrypted in the Giza Pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza, two or three centuries ago, including, for example, Isaac Newton and many scientists of the 19th and 20th centuries still tried to decipher all of these secrets. In particular, many have tried to determine the length, etc., the sacred cubit, the pyramidal cubit, measures of the length of the architects and builders of the pyramid, which supposedly was also the key to many of its secrets. So, on the internet you can find publications of modern popularizers which assert in particular that the number obtained from dividing the length of the base of the Cheops Pyramid by the length of its pyramidal cubit is very close to the average duration of the modern tropical year. An interesting way of dating the age of the pyramid, in the essence of this method is as follows. If the architects of the pyramid really encrypted in its proportions the duration of their year, then given the slowing down of the Earth's rotation, the age of the pyramid can be calculated. For example, if the length of the year at the time of the construction of the pyramid was 0.01 days less than our time, then knowing the rate of deceleration of the Earth's rotation at 1.8 milliseconds per 100 years, you can calculate what it was. But don't, don't rush to the calculations. There are pitfalls, which, by the way, were not taken into account in the theory. The Earth not only shows, not only slows down its rotation, but also increases in size. Over time, the radius of our planet, the surface area and mass increase, and the larger the Earth becomes, it faster, it, the, the faster it grows. Empirically, according to various sources, an exponential law of the increase in the radius of the globe with time has been established. Currently, the Earth's growth rate is at its maximum, and the years the Earth's radius is increasing by at least two centimeters per year. That's a whopping two centimeters every year. Our Earth is growing. That's that's unbelievable. We're, it's a growing planet. It's also possible that tens or thousands of thousands of years ago, the Earth's radius increased faster than in our time and could change even faster during the years of planetary catastrophes like about 10,800 years ago, years BC. Riddles of the Pyramidal Elbow, Isaac Newton and Keshi Ra. But this means that the mysterious Pyramidal Elbow, quote unquote, during the construction of the pyramid if it was one-tenth millionth part of the Earth's radius, as many of its researchers believed, it was not from the current radius, but from the one that was many millions of thousands of years ago, or tens of, tens of millennia ago, during the construction of the pyramid. Some scientists understood this even in the 19th century. Thus, the well-known historian and educator James Bonwick, from 1811 to 1906, wrote about it in 1877 in his book saying, Isaac Newton wrote a work in Latin entitled The Sacred Elbow of the Jews and the Elbows of Some Peoples in which according to the measurements of the greatest Egyptian pyramid made by Mr. John Greaves, the ancient elbow of Memphis is established, where in particular he noted that in, the ancient, Egypt, in ancient Egypt before the elbow length of half a meter, apparently was preceded by another longer length, which would be about six to three and a half centimeters. Now, and then James Bonwick writes about the book of the American scientific educator, John Taylor, The Great Pyramid, who was it, who, who built it and for what purpose? Published in 1856. And in particular, he says, Mr. Taylor confuses us with his assertion that the length of the pyramidal elbow before the flood was 63.25 centimeters, and after this catastrophe, it began to be equal to 63.5 uh, centimeters. 
and both the elbow, according to Mr. Taylor, were sent over. Mr. Taylor suggested the flood had on the world of such a devastating effect, although geologists could not find at least one tangible evidence that the flood at all took place, that the diameter of the earth has become smaller by almost 59.55 kilometers in comparison with the antediluvian. End quote. Are there ancient Egyptian depictions of people with this mysterious pyram pyramidal elbow? In addition to the chief priests of Heliopolis, the legendary Imhotep, another name is associated with the construction or the repair of the pyramid under Cheops, perhaps less well known but no less great. Keshi Ra, the chief of doctors, the priest of Horus, the chief architect of the pharaoh, the supreme chief of the ten of the south. This is not a complete list of his regalia known from the studies of his personal tomb, which has been preserved. Keshi Ra is considered by some the main designer of the Great Pyramid, or we add the chief engineer for repairing and restoration. Keshi Ra knew the secrets of proportions, golden sections, according to which the pyramids were, build, were built. The images on the panels board of Keshi Ra represent the whole spectrum a, de a developed canon of golden sections, various measures that were used in the construction or restoration of the pyramids. The measures were associated not only with the golden sections, but also encrypted many of the knowledges, the knowledge of the priests of Upper and Lower Egypt. But what was the length of the pyramidal elbow during the construction of the pyramids? So, a vicious cycle. To calculate the length of the year of the construction time encoded in the length of the pyramidal base, you need to know the length of the pyramidal cubit, but this dina itself may depend on when the pyramid was erected. Let's take the bull by the horns, and let's proceed from the fact that the pyramidal elbow as a measure of length had to, to fit an integral, an integer number of times at least one most likely in the supporting base of the pyramid. In addition, most likely its length did not differ much from what that which was accepted by many Egyptologists since the 19th century. In the book of James Bondwick, several more names are listed, except for Taylor. In general, the measure of length cubit in that century had not yet been forgotten in Europe. For example, in the physics textbooks of 1831, See Wikipedia article Elbow. The lengths of the cubit are given in more than 10 cities of Western Europe, and most of these cubits has a length of 59 to 69 centimeters. So we're looking for a pyramidal elbow about 63 centimeters long, which fits an integer number of times into one of the four sides of the base of the pyramid. According to Wikipedia, article Pyramid of Chaos. Their length is as follows. North, 230, 253 meters. South, 230, 454 meters. West, 230, 357 meters. East, 230, 349 meters. Note here also that the length of the lateral rib, according to Wikipedia, is 230.33 meters. It's logical to take the north side as a support one and we'll, we will easily find that the 0 0.63083 meter long pyramidal elbow fits along the length of the northern base exactly 365 times. A good start to storm this puzzle. The next most important side of the pyramid is the eastern one, if only because the sun and Sirius rise there. And then the average length of the year during the construction of the pyramid is 365 days, 0.22359.43. What is the length of the tropical year in our century? In Wikipedia, the tropical year, we see the following data for the year 2000. It's about 365.24 days. Now, uh, as you know, in ancient Egypt, the new year began in the summer with the flooding of the Nile. Therefore, we must take the number in the second line between the two June solstices, 365.24 days. Slowing down compared to the current average duration 
is uh, duration 365.24 minus 365.22, almost exactly 1,558 1, seconds. Now remember that the rate of deceleration of the Earth's rotation is 1.8 milliseconds per day every 100 years. This means that every 100 years, the duration of the tropical year increased by 0.6574 seconds. Consequently, 1,558 seconds run over 2,369.94 centuries. Well, by rounding out 237,000 237, years ago. So we round up to the number of 2,237,000 years ago. Conclusion and discussion of the result. So the Chaos Pyramid was erected 237,000 years ago. Note, however, that the accuracy of the proposed method depends very much on the accuracy of determining the initial length of pyramid bases with an average base length of 230.36 meters with an error of 0.5 centimeters changes the result of about 100,000 years. In most sources, according to the sizes of the pyramids, they are indicated with an accuracy of a centimeter. So if we assume that the initial lengths are set with an accuracy of millimeters, then the error in our calculations would be about plus or minus only 20,000 years. But rather, we should focus on an error of 0.5 centimeters, so with an accuracy determining the initial base, uh, we can have a pyramid was erected between 137 to 337,000 years ago. And this is proved provided by the deceleration of Earth's rotation throughout all these hundreds of thousands of years remains equal to about 1.8 milliseconds per uh, 100 years, a day per 100 years. However, it is interesting, it's an interesting result. This period in history of Earth, 137 to 337,000 years ago, is the emergence of Cro-Magnons and mitochondrial Eve in South Africa, and about 100,000 years ago, their exit through the territory of present-day Egypt to Eurasia. In general, there's a, there is no doubt that the Cro-Magnons reached the territory of present-day Egypt from South Africa, no later than the upper limit of the time of the pyramid erection, which we determined. If we take into account our assumption that Cro-Magnon were in fact the first Sumerian created by Masters Anunnaki to help in their work mining in South Africa, if we also take this into account, then we can put forward inversions about the purpose of creating of these pyramids and that it was the Anunnaki who built them then. But what can the western and southern bases of the pyramid show? I suppose that the calculation similar to the one carried out in the article on the western base will show the time of arrival of aliens on Earth, about 420,000 BC, and on the southern base, the calculation will show a certain boundary in the future, which the creators of the pyramid considered important for Earth, for humanity, and for their stay here. Throughout its existence, the pyramid has probably been overhauled and restored several times, maybe more often, at least at the last time in the third millennium BC during the reign of Pharaoh Cheops. And this is on Solask. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.